Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest trapping video. Today I'll be showcasing some clips from the latest Dragon Arena on my solo trap. So I am currently in the guild HD. Uh, going against UW, you probably recognize UW from some of my 11k hero trapping videos. I did have the 11k hero trap in UW for quite a while, so um, if you guys are noticing some familiar names, uh, that is probably why. So, uh, I'm going to be taking a bunch of solo hits in today's video, plus a couple rallies. Uh, we get to see some uh, interesting results on the rallies. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a spoiler before we even get get into that uh it doesn't go well uh, but we'll be uh, first taking these solo hits here so like someone is sending a range blast into me right here speeding it up it is the wing dragon arena so everyone has a bunch of uh solo speed ups and stuff like that which makes it so much more fun honestly all the dragon arenas you should have this many boots it just makes it fun you can join rallies everything is just it just makes the, the the experience way more fun. So again, this guy is going to be coming in with a bunch of solo attacks on me. I'm not going to be switching to my war gear until the rallies come out. I uh, don't really need it. I, I guess if I put my war gear on, I would be reducing the damage they are doing currently. But it, it's not too bad. Honestly, I should be switching to my construction gear. But I was still joining forts at the time. And I uh, kind of wanted the speed up, so I, I mean, it was speed up dragon. I guess I, I didn't really need to. It's just a habit. So again, my uh, speed up gear is not as good as my construction gear because I actually have a ton of jewels in my construction gear, which I actually use for solo trapping on this account, uh, especially if I'm trapping uh, smaller people who don't have great stats. I'll usually just use my construction gear. Uh, I actually took a bunch of jewels out of my... Uh, real gear put it into my construction gear, so I have like 80% uh, mixed stats in my construction gear currently just from the jewels. Uh, a lot of purple jewels and stuff like that. I, I still have extra jewels that I have in my war gear, so it's not like I took all my jewels out of my war gear and put in my construction gear. I just took out enough that I could actually have some purple jewels into my uh, construction gear. Uh, so again, this guy is just sending a bunch of attacks. Uh, he has, At least he's sending like proper attacks because a lot of people... Uh, when they're in Dragon Arena, they just send those, like, just, like, auto-send things, or you're just sending, like, full infantry or full range with no fodder, no heroes, and <laughs> they're literally doing no damage to you. At least this guy was actually properly setting up his attacks. He was sending fodder with them, he was sending heroes, sending familiars, so uh, at least these were not doing uh, zero damage. Uh, I'm not sure why he's wasting all his troops on me right now, though. Uh, this was... Um, we're still in the middle middle of Dragon Arena where he could be joining forts and stuff like that. I, I know they're quite ahead of, uh, of us on this one. I think the Dragon Arena was something like 50 something to... Uh, 50 something to like... I don't know how many people we have? Like 20 something? So uh, they had more than doubled the, uh, the people. I know from past Dragon Arenas that I did in UW, a lot of people do show up to UW's Dragon Arena. So if you want a good Dragon Arena guild, they're, they're pretty awesome for that. Uh, they don't do much Baron or anything like that, but they do obviously go to Dragon Arena and stuff like that. So their attendance is great. <laughs> so again, this guy's coming in one more time. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. I'm just swapping back and forth. Again, sometimes I just use, use Dragon Arena just for like, just practicing swapping and stuff like that it's a great time to do it um usually people are speeding in attacks and stuff like that so you can actually just practice checking the watchtower going into your formation swapping to the right formation and swapping back because keep in mind usually you want to get in the habit of swapping to a certain formation and then swapping back out of the formation into the uh formation you like to sit in uh it really helps for solo trapping and stuff like that especially let's say you have a tier 3 frontline or something like that. It's very important that you're taking gangbangs in that tier 3 frontline, but if you want to counter solo attacks, uh, you obviously want to switch out of that. So, if you're ever doing that, it's really important that you actually switch back. So, doing this in Drag Arena, just practicing, uh, really does help out with your swaps, all that stuff. Because if you see in my videos and stuff, I'm really good at 
jumps, like switching formations. I'm really fast at it. If you ever watch that, it's just from practice. So if you ever get in the situation, even if you don't need to swap, like I don't need to counter this guy's uh, uh, leaderless tier four hits. Uh, it's just doing it to actually just practice and practice and practice. So when you actually get into the situation where you actually do need to swap, you're, you're in, in the practice of swapping back to your formation, sw switching to a formation, checking your watchtower. Um, I find solo trapping obviously much harder than rally trapping. Uh, it's it's kind of obvious because rally trapping, you have a timer. You know exactly when someone's going to send a march at you. Uh, a lot of times you're just waiting there to go to your watchtower. Solo attacks, uh, it's not like that. Like there's no indication when someone might hit you. I mean, if they port next to you, then there might be a good indication they're about to hit you, but you don't actually know if they're going to hit you, what they're going to be sending, all that stuff. Where a rally, it's like, oh, they're, they're starting a rally on you in five minutes. The rally is going to hit me. I better be ready in those five minutes, have everything set up. So um, yeah, so that's why I find solo trapping so much harder than rally trapping. Um, <laughs> rally trapping is actually like less stressful, unless you find a guild who does like to uh, carpet, then it can be a little more stressful but then again if they're carpeting you have no chance to counter it doesn't really it doesn't really matter at that point where solo traps you could just all of a sudden get gang banged out of nowhere and you have to be ready for that with no like warning or anything like that so yeah that's why i find it harder so let's see what this guy's sending next uh let's check it out he is sending cav so we're gonna go switch to range but i should already be in range because that is my default uh formation on this account uh, the reason why I am sitting in range formation and not range wedge is just the the uh, the, the troop comp I have currently on this account. It was an old uh, rally or rain rally trap comp, like really old. Keep in mind, really old. It was like just uh, pre artifacts. I was still capping rallies on this rally trap, and I actually have a video of that post counter and all that, uh, all that stuff. Capping a full rally uh, without reinforcements on this account from someone uh, who is as strong as someone who also rallies me in this video. But in this video, they get a walk back of 700k where I had full reinforcements where the guy that had pretty much the same gear but maybe just a little bit better didn't get a walk back when I had no reinforcements a couple years ago. <laughs> just just throwing that out there that uh, obviously is something has changed just a little bit in the uh, damage calculations there um, and for whatever reason I'm just doing way less damage than I was with someone who has the same stats pretty much actually probably less stats and uh, when I have full reinforcements first word I had no reinforcements <laughs> doesn't make much sense to me I might go over that at the end of the video to show you that video uh, showing you that yes I did cap a full rally without reinforcements on this account from someone who is not obviously a good rally lead but the person who rallies me in this video is also not a good rally lead and I had full reinforcements so uh, we'll get that we'll get to that pretty soon as soon as shark stops hitting me here like he just he just doesn't want to stop um i don't think he realized <laughs> now he's sending tier two at me i don't think he realized what i had in my comp obviously i'm sitting down at like 208 million might right now so a lot of times you wouldn't think i have very much i've already dropped a bunch of might but obviously i have like 150 million might and troops on this account actually maybe it was a little less 100 and 40. What's my base might? 90 mil, I think, on this account. I think it's 90 mil. I think this this account's base might's 90 mil. I started at 220 something, so 130 to 140 mil. Uh, what's called amount of troops I have on this million troops. I'm sorry, <laughs> million troop might 150 or 130 to 140 million uh, might in troops. So again, that looks like canical decided to come and hit me uh this is the this is the rally lead who will be hitting me later that gets a massive walk back from me uh keep in mind uh that guy uh the guy that has uh free to play familiars only three of them uh he's running purple gear yeah <laughs> purple gear so uh yeah i think he and he does message me in this video and tells me how high his blast stats are they are at a massive 570 percent uh which is a whole 100 percent higher than my mix stats <laughs> on this account keep in mind uh yeah so it, he's not running crazy high stats or anything like that so i don't know i'm Anyways, so this guy is still spamming the troops. Uh, he's, he did try to time his uh, spam at one point. Uh, he he kind of like was speeding them up, timed them up to hit me all at once. But 
Uh, if you're doing 100 damage against somebody, it doesn't matter if you send all five at the same time or you send them one at a time, they're still going to do nothing to you, the person. So um, if you ever see the person not dropping at all, I mean, it is Dragon Rita, so it's, it's not a big deal. He's not losing any troops or anything like that. He's just thought he could have used those troops somewhere else, but whatever. Anyway, he's still spamming me. There is some other people joining in once in a while, but it's obviously Shark is leading the uh, charge here with his uh, spam attacks here. Um, I think I was cooking at this time because I just went away and actually just left the recorder on with it, like viewed it at my base while he was hitting me. Because at this point, I, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna counter all these. It's, I just kind of gave up <laughs> at that point. I had my practice, I had my fun, and now I was just letting him hit me a bunch of times here. Uh, you can see here that yeah, I still have 7.8 million troops left. And before the rallies hit, I do heal just because I wanted to actually take the rallies. And I don't want to take them with less troops and stuff like that. Because, again, it's obviously it's not a huge account. It's, it's a, a 220 mil might account for rally taking. So, uh, let's see who's coming in now. It looks like another guy has joined the, the fray here. I am sitting in my construction gear. You can see all the jewels in there. I have a bunch of gold uh, monster hunting jewels. And the rest are just basically just purple attack jewels I have there in there as well. Uh, this guy went tier 4, tier 5 infantry into my uh, range here, full counter me for a massive 82k there. Uh, this guy is a little bit stronger than the other guy was hitting me, I think, just just based on the fact he is tier 5. So it uh, looks like uh, he's going uh, full leadered into me. This is Red Black 26. Uh, another one of their members decided to go and donate their leader to me here. Uh, let's take a look at see how much damage he did. He did a uh, 1500. That's what happens when you send a 250 with no fodder. Uh, even if you send your leader uh, in a range stacking familiar, which is not the most optimal uh, lead or not the most optimal uh, familiar to send with a uh, infantry blast. If you guys don't know why, it's because increasing your range blast. Our range attack when you only have infantry troops is not going to do much and uh, it won't actually proc because uh, you're not losing any range troops unless you send fodder which he didn't he also didn't send fodder so that didn't help either so it looks like uh, here's going to be the rally lead so this is the rally I was talking about uh, this is uh, what's his name Kana Kanak Kale Kanak Kale so um, Kanak Kale is going to be the rally lead here he did uh, cancel a bunch of times because he wasn't filling or anything, something like that. Uh, you can see I do have full reinforcements. Uh, this guy has like purple gear and stuff like that, so let's take a look and just make sure he's setting range. So uh, I'm just going to switch over to infantry <laughs> with setting a cap. It doesn't matter. I had so long the counter, I wasn't worried here. It, it isn't even a full rally. Uh, you can see his familiars. He has no pay to play familiars. He just has the range stacking familiar in there, which is nothing new that's been out for many years at this point. I'm uh, just going to throw my trap gear. Um, am in Fury, so you can see my stats here. I'm at like 463 range, which is like literally only 100% lower than his. Um, but uh, it looks like he does actually walk back, and it wasn't even close. So you can see he's got purple and a little bit of a couple gold pieces, so it was, I was uh, a little chuffed that he walked back. Because keep in mind, this account has cat full mythic gear before, full rallies. Um, uh, this was even post counter. I was able to cap a rally without reinforcements uh, from a lead similar to this guy's stats. Keep in mind, I'm, I'm talking like under 600% stats. Uh, no, obviously no reinforcements. I was able to cap like full mythic people at the time um, with reinforcements at that time with this exact same comp with lower stats. I, I didn't have as high stats back then because um, I didn't have the artifacts and stuff like that. Uh, this guy does have artifacts, but I, I doubt it's making up for uh, the lack of familiars one. His familiars are obviously very bare bones familiars. Um, and also he's not running full mythic gear. Um, so him to walk back with 700k, that's a lot of walk back. That's not just like a siege walk back or something like that. That's basically walking back with like two thirds of his troops, <laughs> or, his, or at least a third of his troops are walking back from there. And he has like a five set. Like again, he's, his, his blast, he, he does message me telling me what his blast is. It's literally 100% higher than my mix uh, range stats. So 
uh, which is interesting. <laughs> interesting 570. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very disappointing how little damage I'm doing to him at this point um, with all this. But I, I will go. Actually, I will go over a video uh, of me capping a rally with this exact comp with no reinforcements against a range rally and uh, able to take out all two million plus uh, 2.25 million of his troops. And the guy's gear is technically better than this guy's gear, even though, uh, minus the artifact. So the stats kind of probably are pushing towards Kanak at that point. But again, I didn't have reinforcements. I had like 600k infantry when that rally hit me and I was still able to cap it. But uh, anyways, uh, Whistle was, uh, Whistle, sorry. Anyways, uh, he's going to be rallying me here. Uh, again, he was nice enough not to be running an anti, so it made it, made it really easy for me to counter. Not that it matters, because Wisso is a proper rally lead. He does have a Mythic Champ in his set. Uh, he's not like a top-tier rally lead, but he's a proper rally lead. has all the familiars that a rally lead would have sort of thing. But uh, nice enough not to be running an or not be... Uh, running an anti, so I know exactly what's coming. It's only a 1.5, but after me not being able to cap the uh, the guy with the uh, purple and, 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 and gold gear, there's literally no way I'm going to be capping uh, Wisso here, who probably has full counter on his account. So. But you can see doing 1.6 1. million. Not unexpected. He has got pack 5 familiars, so he, he's not like... <laughs> he's a proper rally lead. He actually has proper familiars. Again, not a top tier by any stretch, but he, he's he's got proper familiars, proper... Uh, heroes, all that stuff, all that stuff. Anyway, so actually, let's go actually check, take a look at the uh, rally that I actually took. Uh, probably almost two years now, um, but you'll you'll see it, the the ridiculousness of, of that guy. Actually, actually let's go back, back in time a little bit. This was a little bit a while ago. Um, this was the same account I have, obviously with worse stats at the time. Taking a rally. This was post counter. Uh, this was post mythic, post tier five, pre artifacts. Uh, at this time, uh, taking a rally from not a great rally lead, but obviously pretty similar to the rally that just hit me. Uh, has better stats, but no artifacts, so the stats are probably pretty similar. Uh, I have no reinforcements either. So uh, let's just take a look at what happened back then, and you can kind of see why I'm a little uh, upset on <laughs> how little damage I did to that guy. So I'm going to throw my war gear. I don't have as good jewels. I don't have artifacts, stats, or anything like that on this account currently. Um, so pretty much the same, or pretty much I have worse stats back then. Uh, this guy has better stats than the current lead. I was actually thinking of shielding, because normally I wouldn't take a range rally on a rain reinforcement or infantry reinforcement comp without uh, getting reinforcements, since I only have 600k uh, infantry total on the account. So that's not a great amount of infantry to be taking a rally with. Uh, you can see what he has. Pretty similar, what's called familiars to the guy that just hit me, uh, except this guy has the uh, Griffin familiar. Um, and the stacking, he doesn't have a third familiar, but the other guy is just, I mean, <laughs> the one familiar is not going to make a big difference. That's only a couple stats here. So I decided to take it. It's going to just pour it away here with the 70% on. Was able to cap the whole rally, cap the leader, all that stuff with no reinforcements. So only 600k infantry at the time uh, taking that. Again, I didn't take it in infantry because that would probably be the worst thing to do if you only have 600k infantry is throw them in the front line and now they get, just get all taken out and then you have no infantry yet. That's that's just asking to burn. Obviously, it would have took less damage, but since the Sanctuary was out, it wasn't a big deal. I could actually get most of those troops back, so... And I was just pulling them out here. Um, so let's actually just go try and find the report here so we can just look at it. Uh, where was it? Let's just scroll through YouTube here for a second. Oh, actually, here's the report here. Actually, where was it? Uh, I did go through here. So to pause this and find it. Okay, so here's the report here. You can see the guy's gear. It is... Uh, Mostly gold and mythic with a blue piece in there. I uh, did 1.6 to my my range frontline, which makes sense because again I was uh, a little bit I wasn't going to be going infantry frontline. But you can see I only have 600k infantry on the account, so there's like nothing on here. Um, 
for that. And again, I wasn't I wasn't even running two infantry heroes on the wall. So he started walking back from that, which I don't I don't know. Honestly, it, it's kind of funny here, just watching what I used to be able to take on this account, and and now what is walking back with seven hundred k troops, where I could cap the whole thing at that point with a million less infantry, but. Anyways, uh, nothing has changed, obviously. Nothing to look at. Uh, let's move on. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys uh, weren't uh, too uh, bored with my little rant at the end. But anyways, uh, we will be uh, getting some more videos out. Uh, have some rally trapping, all that stuff coming out um, on my Mythic Trap. I think I have another 11k Hero Trap coming out as well. Uh, hope you guys have a great holiday, and I'll see you guys in the next one.